G'day reefers, I'm Cam the Fish Guy. Welcome to Gallery Aquatic TV. Today we're having a first look at the new Cade Caddy. We're gonna show you the different color options, the size options, and we're gonna talk about exactly how you use these new products to improve your cable management and to create a beautiful side to your aquarium. The Cade Caddy is effectively a cabinet that sits to the side of your aquarium that gives you more space for equipment and cable management. Now, they come in both the white option, as this one is, or a black option, depending on the color of your aquarium, and they're all the same length across the front. So this one is 50 centimeters, uh, which is 20 inches or uh, 500 mil, but they vary in the, the depth this way. So. This one being 750 is the second biggest of the Cade Caddies. There is an 80 centimeter option, which is a little bit bigger, but there's also two smaller options. One which is 700, which comes to here, and another one which is 560, which comes to here. Now they have four doors that open up and you can see we've got this one here. And the other three, uh, two doors here are the same. They're effectively just a, a normal cabinet door, but the front is where it's a little bit different. And when you open up the front, you've actually got a false wall that allows you to do your cable management and mount controllers. So we'll have a closer look at this and exactly how you use this to improve the cable management of your aquarium. So it, it's very easy to mount your controllers on these, these internal walls. And you can use a variety of things. Uh, Double-sided tape is sometimes strong enough, but with something like uh, a Vectra, this is an M2, you get a mounting bracket, which will allow you to actually screw the bracket into the false wall, allowing you to sit your controller here. You can then feed uh, certain parts like so, the, the cords back into the back section. So it means that you've effectively got nothing but controllers on the inside. Now around the back here, you can then, you've got your transformers. You can then just sit them on the bottom. There's quite a bit of space here and there may be adequate space, or you could create your own little shelving unit inside here, which would mean that you could then mount your power supplies up on the shelves. Um, you could do a variety of things with this. You've got this little bit of slotted ducting, which makes it easy to feed all your cables down into one, one area. Um, but you can see you've got lots and lots of space and it, these do make it very easy to accommodate the large numbers of uh, pieces of equipment that you typically would run on a marine aquarium. Now there's four doors to the Cade Caddy. So what happens if you want to be able to reach through and access a panel of your aquarium? Well, it's very easy and I'll show you what you do. The aquarium that we had uh, this Cade Caddy on was actually a Waterbox LX. Now, uh, we have the, the Caddy on display here at our uh, Salisbury store, specifically because it's a white cabinet. The, uh, the Cade that we have here, which is a Cade Peninsula, is actually the perfect dimensions for the Caddy. It's just a shame that the color is not the same. Uh, we should probably get a, a black one to have on display here, but you can see how perfectly uh, it lines up and it just looks absolutely beautiful. And I, I even like the look of it, even though uh, it's a white cabinet with a, a black cabinet for the aquarium. But what happens if you want to be able to reach through to a panel in your aquarium because the, the panel on here actually opens up and allows you to, to get in there. So if you want to be able to access that, it's actually very easy. And all you do is remove one of the doors. So you can see there's a little screw here, Phillips has screw here and here. You take that off, that's just a cover. It allows you to take the hinge out and you can very easily take off this door. You would then take off the door on your aquarium and it would mean with both doors removed that you can reach in and access your tank. So the Cade Caddy really is the perfect uh, side accompaniment to your aquarium and uh, the additional space really is something that I think a lot of reefers would appreciate. 
So that's it for the Cade Caddy, and I think you'll agree it really is a beautiful addition to a beautiful reef for planted tank in this case. And uh, I really do find it's a, an interesting thing that this product hasn't been brought out onto the market earlier. Uh, it's something that really we've, we've been crying out for, something to improve your cable management and give us more space. I have in the past used Red Sea cabinets. Um, they work similar to this, but the top isn't quite as nice and they're not purpose built. The idea of having the false door at the front for the cable management and the nice glass top, you know, these really are an excellent product. And I think that they're something that will sell a lot of. We're actually doing a project in the near future in which a customer has purchased a Cade 2100, the, the biggest of the Cades, and two of the Cade Caddies, one on either side. So uh, hopefully we'll be able to bring that project to uh, Gallery Aquatica TV. But for now, that's our first look at the Cade Caddy. It's a really great product. I think you'll agree. But thank you so much for watching. I'm Cam the Fish Guy. Happy reefing. That's it for this week's episode of Gallery Aquatica TV. Don't forget to like and comment on all our videos and subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned to Gallery Aquatica TV for more exciting episodes to come. I'm Cam the Fish Guy. Happy reefing.